Well, hello and welcome back to Star Ocean. In the last episode, we watched the Earth get destroyed, and then we ran away to the Planet Sticks and watched the Aqua Ellie and Captain Be Commodore Beardley also get destroyed. So here we are on this godforsaken planet, surrounded by tons of monsters um, that I really don't want to fight. In fact, I'm going to do my best to just run away from them until we get to the end of the planet here. Again, I'm not going to be doing any fighting and leveling up unless I get to a point where I'm just getting completely destroyed. It's Proclaimers as far as the eye can see, as well as um, the Executioners as well. I'm not sure exactly how difficult they would be, as well as robots that pop up three feet in front of you. Lovely. Thankfully this place, um, I looked at a map, pretty small I believe, provided I don't get lost and turned around. Yay, Proclaimers. They would probably be really good experience if I wanted to fight them, but I don't. Is there any other life on this planet? I'm actually kind of surprised that it even has an atmosphere that we can breathe. Okay. The time gate should kind of stick out on the horizon once we get close to it. I don't think that was it. There it is. What is this? Uh, some strange runes. Cannot read them. There we go. <laughs> Very small planet. Two minutes. I thought it was going to be a little bit longer than that. Speed run. So this is the time gate. The gene of connection. Sophia, Dr. Linegod said you have the genetic power to create a path through the time gate and into 4D space. Yeah, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Well, that's understandable. Maybe we just have to make her angry, or something. I'm sorry. Don't say that. There's nothing to apologize for. But I'm letting you all down. Don't worry about it. We're the last ones left alive anyway, so who cares? There's no shame. If you say so. Sophia's powers haven't manifested yet. I know. Well, we won't get anything accomplished just standing around here. Let's check out the gate. Good idea. Maybe if we throw her into it, it'll turn on. What is it, Sophia? My head hurts. Are you okay? I'm just getting in the way, aren't I? Not at all, Sophia. And don't be afraid to say when you're hurting. It moves? Well, that's interesting. This is how it normally operates. It's a computer? What is it? My hand. It's hot. What's happening? I don't understand. Well, it's probably the gene. We discussed this. <laughs> Sophia! She's manifesting. Oh. Oh. You okay? That's neat too. I think so.
Whoa. What was that? The time gate. It's... Hmm. What the hell is that? Amazing. That's... That's 4D space. It might be. It is. How do you know? I don't know why, but I can sense it. Yes. This is 4D space. Yeah, I can sense it too. Something deep down inside is telling me that too. If you guys feel that way, it must be true. You're the special ones. If you all feel that way, it must be. That means the Creator lies somewhere beyond this gate. It's kind of freaking out there. Say, can we even exist in 4D space? Yeah, it's a completely different dimension. There's no way we can know for sure. Still, I don't think Dr. Lime God would have overlooked this. Still, it'd be pretty amazing if he could have deduced all of this from his simple research. Right, but we can't know for sure, can we? Exactly. It's not like he ever opened up the time gate before, or even went through it. I wonder. We can't turn back now. Let's go take on this creator and whatever else faces us on the other side. Well, there you have it. Decisiveness is a virtue. You're right. Let's go, everybody. Let's find and defeat the Creator. Yeah. Gonna teach God a lesson here. What the? Something came out of the Eternal Sphere display. Cool. Is that a new feature? It's an expansion. Where are the Executioners? No clue, but this must be 4D space. Wow, we made it here safely. What a relief. It sure is. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't the enemy's home base supposed to be a little more tense, usually? You can say that again. What is this place? It's the frame eater, is what it is. But this is definitely 4D space. No mistake there. Indeed. What the hell's going on here? eating all the frames. Hey, did I hear you say executioner? Uh, yes, you did. Who are you? Vlad Garen. Are you an executioner, Vlad? That's not exactly what we meant, kid. Don't worry, I'm not one of the bad guys. Sure about that? This whole place is just weird. Come to my house. I think you may find out what you want to know there. This could be a trap. Well, he doesn't look particularly dangerous. True. Maybe we will learn something. Right. Okay, let's go. It seems like he knows something about the executioners, and we've nothing to gain from staying here. 
Nothing ventured, as they say. Sounds good to me. Well then. Everybody get a line in. Hurry up, or else security will come. Come on. Security? What is going on? Are we really in 4D space, or did we just go to another planet? I'm home! He's not the creator, is he? Welcome back. Vlad, who are those people? And what's with those weird outfits? Friends, friends of mine. But they look so old, honey. Where did you meet them? Friends, I see. <laughs> His mother is exceptionally understanding. Find my Facebook page. I thought I deleted that. Wow. Okay. So you are who I thought you were. Great. I believe it now. Man, those privacy settings always change. It's just like Blair said. Blair? Hey, kid. Share the info, huh? Don't just sit there with your thinking face on. I'm gonna give you a noogie here in a second. You're not related to those executioners, are you? Sure is enjoying himself. <laughs> Quit hoarding your knowledge. No, not really. Hmm, how should I explain this? You guys live in the Eternal Sphere, right? what we've heard. Eternal Sphere? Heard something mentioned about that before. Yeah, check it out. No way. It's the Aqua Ellie. How does he have video footage on that? Okay. Hey, that's... Huh? Why? How? That's a battle between the Federation and the Executioners. That's right. This is what's happening right now in the Eternal Sphere. What's happening? Hey, kid. What the hell is this Eternal Sphere thing, anyway? How can we see the fight between the Federation and the Executioners? Relax. I'll explain everything. You better get started. The Eternal Sphere is a universe inside a simulator. Earth is one of the planets inside that universe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A simulator? 
What are you talking about? You can watch the Eternal Sphere and the events happening in the Milky Way on any terminal. And you guys are characters from inside the Eternal Sphere simulator. Do we look like... No. That's impossible. I refuse to believe it. Who's with me? Hey, what's this kid saying? I think he's on drugs. We're just... characters living inside a simulator? That's right. Do we look like characters, though? I mean, we're real. We're right here. In other words, we're... programs? Well, yeah, if you want to put it that way. So, you're saying that our universe is nothing more than a computer game? Hmm. <laughs> No, it's an online reality that everyone shares. Nobody can reset it, so it's not what you'd think of as a game. I guess it's kind of a parallel world. So, it's an MMO. I... We're just puppets for you people to manipulate? Man, that would be an extremely depressing, I think. Well, in a way, yeah. Man. But you all have your own individual AI programs, so you're really not that different from us. Well, that makes me feel just a little bit better. It's not like we can move you around with a joystick or anything like that. That's why I think you're more or less like us. You just live in a different dimension. So, we're basically advanced Tamagotchis, right? You guys do have Tamagotchis, or you did, huh? Thus, the parallel world. Mm-hmm. Then what are those executioners? Are they programs too? Does that mean we can actually beat them? Or am I just hoping for too much here? Oh, man. So many questions going through my head right now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So they still have to abide by the same rules as we do inside the simulator. Kind of a matrix type thing going on here. I wonder... According to a recent press release, a problem was found in the Milky Way region of the Eternal Sphere simulation. That's where you guys live, right? They say... If they don't do something about that problem, it'll affect the entire program. So they're just gonna patch us out like a bug? The executioners were sent in to delete anomalies that caused the problem. So they're fixing bugs. Man. That's just depressing. You're kidding me. I figured those things weren't gods, but now you're telling me they're programs? But wait. If we're programs... How can we exist here? If what he's saying is true, this should be impossible. You know, she has a point. Even though she's only level one, she's, uh, pretty intelligent. Now that I don't understand either. That must be Maria's power. The alteration gene. But it was just a gene inside a simulator. So... How does it actually work in the real world? Yes, that must be it. The power given to me by Professor Leingod. A program created by a program. It's kinda scary if you think about it. Kinda silly. Say, kid, how do you know so much about all this? Cuz, my buddy works for the company that developed the Eternal Sphere. Her name is Blair. She told me all sorts of things. We got extremely lucky then bumping into him. But don't get me wrong. I'm really not one of the bad guys. Then why did you bring us here? Mm, curiosity, mainly. You know what they say about curiosity, Flad. Programmed life forms coming into the real world? Amazing. I mean, who would ever imagine such a thing? Now that you put it that way... 
you guys came here to stop the executioners, right? What do you think your chances are? Think you can do it? I wonder. Security? Well, this will be Bad fun. Guys. Well, they're definitely not good what? guys. Did you? I didn't do anything. Beat them up quick. Please, get your hands up. What do their helmets say? Ajax, Ejax. You people are under arrest. But we're not people. Mom, mom, did you call security? Damn it, mom. Vlad, what was I supposed to do? I was so worried about you. I thought you were running around with cosplayers again. What? What did I tell you about cosplayers, honey? Aw, oh, Mom! Can't you mind your own business? It's just one step up from LARPers. I, I can't allow that to happen to you. What do we do now? Whatever we do, we can't let ourselves get captured. I'm with you on that one. Shall we? Yeah. Okay. They've been killing us this entire time. It's time that we return the favor. Three of you, huh? Okay, six of you. Surrender quietly. I happen to like those odds. At least they're not. Okay, um... Now, once again, you are being worthless. I don't even know why I allow you to control yourself sometimes. Now you're a horrible program. And she just got juggle destroyed. That's great. Oh boy. Let's just run far, far away. Um, do I have anything that'll revive Fresh Sage? I probably should have stocked up on items. Symbology. No, I'm just gonna hang. Actually, hang on. Let me get back to Nell. Come on, Nell. You <laughs> sons of bitches. Quit juggling my my Nell. They really hate her. Your clothing is immodest. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Nell, quit it. Just, just stop. Stop what you're doing. I think Cliff's just manhandling all of them anyways. That was easy. Pretty good money and experience, actually. I'm surprised. I still have not skipped an event on accident this whole playthrough. I'm so proud of myself. Again, what type of jerk would put that as the first uh, option? Damn you! That's all of them? That was too easy. That was easy. I assumed everyone in 4D was tough, like the executioners. I guess the executioners are exceptions. They're just programmed to be powerful in the eternal sphere. These chumps are just just desk jockeys. Compared to what we've been through. The executioners must be specially designed for the eternal sphere. Mm hmm I think you're probably right. Here, this is for you. Good catch. What's this? It's the installation CD for the expansion pack. Eternal Sphere 2. If you guys don't believe what I tell you, then check it out for yourselves. There's a special Eternal Sphere terminal in Gemini. Go take a look. You are so grounded, young man. Vlad, stop it this instant. <laughs> Smart little brat. Let's go to Gemini like Vlad suggested. And figure out what this disc does. Yay, the authentication disc. Eternal Sphere doesn't have a monthly fee, does it? 
I'm not sure I have a credit card. Okay, are these guys actually going to try to fight me? I'm going to talk to them. Let's see. We have reports that the people living in this house are being harassed by some strange-looking thugs. That's why we're beefing up patrols. Depending on who you listen to, these murderous criminals sliced up dozens of people to ribbons. You should be careful, too. It's not safe to wander around here. Interesting. So this is 4D. This is the real world. Quite a fancy-looking place. I don't know if it's because of the games or the comic books, but youngsters these days seem a little odd. To my way of thinking, it doesn't make sense to envy those who have to work every day to make ends meet. So I'm guessing that they sit around playing Eternal Sphere every day, or watching the Eternal Sphere, because it's more exciting than living in this utopia. This gate leads to the town's residential area. I want to go back to it. If you want to go to another town, the gate to the space-time station is that way. Of course, if you don't have access privileges for other towns, then you won't be able to go to any other town other than Jimity. I want to go back to the residential area and look around. Okay, where is my overhead map? There we go. We came from the north, so... Let's go this way. Hello, sir. Ah, oh, man, it's so bright. I was up last night in the Eternal Sphere and still haven't slept yet. Ah, oh, well, at least I hit a new level, so I guess it was worth it. I can finally ride the bunnies, too. Man, now if only I could get that leap drop from the dragon. I'm on patrol. Let's see. No suspicious characters. I repeat, no suspicious characters. Nope. Nobody looks suspicious here. Certainly not these strange cosplayers that have shown up. What is this? Eternal Sphere Terminal Room. This room is a special terminal for use in connecting to the Eternal Sphere. This terminal can be used for sending one's character into the Eternal Sphere. Dang, this terminal's too shoddy. We need to use a solid landline. That's the only way we'll be able to enter the server directly. Hey, there's a chest in here. I almost didn't see it. Blackberries. Even in this world, people stock worthless items. Amazing. Why can't it be 4D berries or something like that? Okay, next stop is... How about... What's this little side area? Don't mind us. We're not breaking into anybody's home. But again, this whole this whole little twist, this plot twist, this is the only reason I really like the game. I told you guys that there was something coming up in the storyline that I liked, and this is it. Um, a lot of people didn't like this twist, but after slogging through that horrible medieval planet, this whole thing just made it all worth it to me. Cooking ingredients. Too bad it's worthless. There is no meaning of life. You just have to live moment to moment. There's nothing to get all worked up about. So yes, I'm actually in a much better mood now. Even though we are approaching the end of the game. We're gonna find this creator and kill him. Uh, how do I get out of here? Or at least give him a very serious wedgie. Make him regret trying to delete us. Heartless bastard. I can't believe that there are people out there who don't know the difference between comic books or games and reality. Characters can't just jump out of the screen. I can't believe anyone would say something like that with a straight face. Ugh, I can't stand it. Just the thought of it makes my skin crawl. The nerve of those nerds. Don't they know? What are you hiding in here? Any amazing treasures for us in this world? Or do 40 people just carry worthless trinkets? Physical enhancer, yeah. That sounds nice. Oh, nothing to do. When I'm this bored, there doesn't seem to be anything to live for. Going out of one's way to die seems silly, too. Just too much of a hassle. Of course, I'm not going to die, but still. Interesting. 
When death is too much of a hassle. 50% hit point recovery. Um, I'm guessing that I can only use it once. I might be able to register it with the Craftsman's Guild or something like that. So I wonder if they actually, if they just built this place out of leftover assets that they have. I don't know. It's interesting. I can't wait to show you guys Gimity either. I actually like that place. It seems that only a very few members of this privileged class are allowed to work in this world. That's why everyone else plays like this every day. And first it looks like a fortunate society. But I wonder if that's really the case. They never have any real experiences of their own. It's a pretty sad, boring existence, I imagine. Hello, you. You know Sphere's game? The Eternal Sphere? Lots of people like that game, and everyone who plays it says it's fun. But you know, it's really not all that fun. It's just one of those things where the fewer people that know about it, the funner it is for those people who are in the know. Hmm, I think I've played some things like that before. Such an elitist attitude to have, but kinda true sometimes. Okay, let's see. What else do we have around here? This video I might actually stretch on just a little bit. Oh, hello. Did I already talk to you? You have reports? Yeah. Okay. I think I already did... I gotta check one more thing. I gotta check this building real quick. Make sure that I went into it. Aha, uh -huh. probably more berries down here. Hello, you. Oh my gosh! Is this an Eternal Sphere costume party? I'm impressed. It must have taken you forever to make all this stuff. How many months did you spend on this? 35,000 full? By the way, I have no problem with cosplayers or larbers. I actually admire some of those cosplayers out there. Put a lot of effort into their uniforms. And then some, absolutely frightening. Okay. Here we go. To the Archive Sector. Or the Archives, the Satellite City. So, let's talk to some people. Hey, can you believe it? People jumped out of that monitor over there. Just now. Just like that. I'm still in shock. I'm not joking. If you don't believe me, ask somebody else. It was witnessed by dozens of people. Hello there. What can I do for you today? Ceramic sword, clown shoes, a bunch of other junk I don't need. It's interesting that they sell weapons and stuff here. Hello, sir. Sir? I'm on patrol, on the lookout for any suspicious looking characters around here. Well, take care of yourselves. Oh, we will. Hmm, what am I doing here? Why don't I look for a job? That's my business, isn't it? That's the way things are. People who want to work, they just work and work. Not everyone's like that, you know. I don't have to work if I don't want to. Just because you like working, that doesn't mean I have to, too. Hmm. Listening to labor supremacists like you makes my head spin. Labor supremacists. Hello, Nell. There's a lot in this world I never imagined. It is bizarre, or mysterious, or just plain weird. Anyway, this town seems weird to me. I agree, we're floating in the clouds. Hello, you. These days, all the soap operas are so boring, and those games just tire me out. What can I do? Go get a job. The way you dressed up, you must be from the Eternal Sphere, right? Where did you find that? A theme park in Jimity? Cool, man. I want that outfit, too. Hello, you. Hi there, mister. This is one of the satellite cities of the Lost City, called Archives. Wonderful. Um, what is this place? 
Hey, Plump. We came out of there, didn't we? Through my power. You know, I still can't believe it. I don't want to believe it. But it's really true, isn't it? I guess I'll just have to accept it. So this is the famous monitor that people came out of? Yes, when you stand next to it, it seems to give off some kind of cold energy. You can really feel it. That's it! Spiritual beings have been at work here. I'll start a new religion based on this monitor. You do whatever you gotta do, girl. Okay, um, let's jump in this one right here. The Archives, Space Time Station. Hello, this is... Well, you know. Space Time Station here connects Archives with other towns. <laughs> I just love working. Those Space Time Station employees chase me around, but I just can't stop. Why do they chase you? This is Space Time Station where spatial connections can be used to travel from archives to other towns. Um, I see you want to connect to Jimity? As everyone knows, Jimity, which can be connected to from here, is an entertainment city. Jimity is an immense theme park that recreates the virtual space of the Eternal Sphere. And what a town it is. Probably my favorite town in the game. Hello, Cliff. So, this is 4D space. Well, this is kind of an anti-climax. They build it all up, say the creator lives here, and then this is the place? I was expecting something more along the lines of the Demonium, or Heaven, or some place like that. Not a boring, sterilized city. Lately, there have been many, case, many cases of fake station employees imitating us, and going so far as to attempt to assist people. Please be very careful, and do not be taken in by such posers. I have to admit, though, those fake employees just made more work for me in a sense, so I don't really mind their shenanigans all that much. Yes, in a world so boring, people are begging for work. This is Space Time Station, where spatial connections can be used to travel from archives to other towns. Please, come inside. I will soon. Hello, Pepita. How are you enjoying the vacation? Everyone's living in peace, with no major problems to speak of. Hmm. Maybe this world makes its own kind of sense. It still seems to me like there's something a little out of place here. Yeah, it's the feeling of being alive. Of danger and thrill. Of uncertainty. Only those who have gone to the Lost City and a very small number of other people are lucky enough to be allowed to work. Uh, I'm so bored. Isn't there anything to do? Hello, you. Lately, some fake employees have been pretending to be us and trying to steal our work. If you see anyone suspicious, please tell me about it. Not that we'll beat them up or anything, because that, that's, I don't know, it just seems weird. I should have saved it back there, honestly. I saw a safe place. So, oh. looks like we can get to Gemini from here. It's like a transporter. It says Gemini is an amusement city. Wonder what it's like. Hopefully, we don't need tickets. I don't know. We'll just have to go find out for ourselves. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. However, uh, I'm going to go back out here and save it, I think. There was a blue arrow over here somewhere, right? Or was I just imagining that? Actually, the blue arrow might have been... Ah, oh, hell, I'll just extend this video. Why not? I think the blue arrow might have been on the other archives level, and I already missed it. Hello, you. Hey, mister. Since you came here, that means you have access to other towns, right? So how about giving me your access, please? What? You don't have any access at all? <laughs> then what use are you? Jerk. 
Space Time Station is extremely easy to use. All you need to do is enter the Space Time Connection device and back. Inside, you will see a list of all destinations approved to you by the government of the Lost City. Simply select your destination, and you're done. So what do you think? Simple, isn't it? This? Opening a transport gate to the entertainment city of Jimity. Those wishing to transport to Jimity should proceed inside the system at this time. Um, yeah, yeah, let's use it. Jimity! It's like the golden saucer. Hello? If I go right back, it'll look suspicious. Better step outside first. Well, I wanted to talk to her first. Wow. Well, wait! Save point! Arg! <laughs> I could have ended it. Wow. It's almost like Traverse Town. The emulator is probably going to be pushed to its limit here. So this is that city Jiminy Flad was telling us about. Wow. Wow. This is like an amusement park. Looking at this place really drives home the fact that these people made our world. Yeah. This is no time to gawk. We have to look for a terminal for this eternal sphere that Flad was telling us about. That's right. However, we're going to do that in the next video. We'll spend some time exploring this place. There's a few fun things we can do here. And whenever we come back, uh, we will see what Jimity has to offer us. Isn't 4D space a lovely, a lovely little dimension?